I should actually save this one for last because this is probably the best inside thing. the little box. We have another little box. And last, a must have for these cars. What's going on YouTube? My name is Zach Centralman and welcome to the channel. So today, we're unboxing my Mishimoto fun stuff for the car. I'm not gonna tell you what it is yet, so we're gonna unbox it and find out. So, this is my first sponsorship ever for any car I've ever owned. And at the end of this video, I'm gonna tell you how I acquired this sponsorship. You guys may be surprised at how easy it is. So, let's just go ahead and uh, we'll do the big box first. So, bear with me, guys. First of all, it's packaged really well. Oh, yeah. I should actually save this one for last because this is probably the best thing. This alone, I feel like every Mopar owner, Charger, Challenger, and 300 should own. Because this is probably the ugliest thing in the engine bay. Yeah, buddy. So here we have Mishimoto's aluminum welded overflow, coolant overflow reservoir. Probably aren't gonna be able to see in here, but they got a uh, a level in here. I mean, the welds look amazing on it. We got all the brackets. We got the inlet. We got the outlet. I mean, I can't wait to install this. Um, I actually ordered this because my factory one is turning yellow. It's that real ugly yellow one that happens to all of them. But I was also having a small leak from one of the seam, one of the just basic seams. So why not upgrade, right? So Mishimoto, thank you. Can't wait to get this in the car. It's gonna make that engine bay look great. So I'm gonna stand that up over here. Throw that out of the way. Throw that out of the way. We got a little box here. Inside the little box, we have another little box. Wonder what this could be. Hmm. So another must have for the 5764 and I'm assuming the 62, the Hellcats. I'm I don't know. I've never done research on that, but the 57 and 64 for sure. One of the biggest things that you should upgrade is your thermostat. So here I have the Mishimoto 180 thermostat because our cars just run hot. Those Mopars, the Hemi motors themselves, they just run hot. So if you can get some of that heat soak, that heat soak out of it, I've heard that they just perform better. That they're the more reliable power, more horse, maybe not more horsepower. I've read they give more horsepower, but when your engine's running cooler, it's just more efficient. So, of course, 180 thermostat. While we're already getting in, I gotta drain the coolant and everything for the reservoir. I had to upgrade and get the thermostat. Put that there. You guys might be able to see what this is on the box, but I'm gonna go ahead and uh, open this up. So we have all the hosing and clamps. You guys probably can't see that in there, but I don't want to take all this apart right now. So we have new rubber hosing and clamps. Oh, this is cool. <laughs> Look, I got a little Mishimoto penguin with a little suction cup on it. Oh, 
This is going in the car. Well, what do we have here? We have new fittings. Or not new fittings, they're probably fittings for this. We have bracket. Let's see. Open this. Of course I can't. There we go. And last, a must have for these cars again, the catch can. These cars blow, blow so much oil back through the intake that a catch can is a must, man. Do any research and see, but the 6.4, the 6.2, and the 5.7, man, these cars, the way it's set up, they just, they blow so much oil back through. Um, I'll probably, do a review on this one and from a thousand or three thousand miles see how much oil actually comes through this and uh, basically a review of the Mishimoto one itself now uh, again here's the brackets the fittings that go in here there's two fittings all packaged nice bracket to mount on the firewall because these mount a little different than most of the ones you see. These are actually gonna mount closer to the radiator, the firewall, so hence the longer hoses. Um, I could have went with a different company, but I got the sponsorship through Mishimoto, so I wanted to run as much Mishimoto items as possible because one, they're an amazing company. They do a lot of wonderful cooling style things for your car. And uh, that's what I wanted to run. So last, that comes with the Mishimoto sponsorship, we got the Mishimoto swag bag. I like that. That's good branding. That's good marketing right there. Well, let's see what we got in here. Cause everybody loves free swag. Oh, what we got? <laughs> oh, all right. Of course, Mishimoto lanyard. You know, brochure, different cooling items. So, like I said, cooling and styling accessories, automotive. I didn't know they did motocross and ATV, so that's good. Intercoolers, you know. Let's see what we got here. Welcome to the Team Mishi. All right. Greetings on our behalf and everyone at Mishimoto. We'd like to thank you for choosing Mishimoto and welcome you to Team Mishi program. We're excited to have you on board. In addition to exclusive discounts on parts, your Team Mishi status means that you'll enjoy other benefits. On our page showcasing your car, promotions on vehicles on social media, You'll be along the first to know a new products. You're eligible for special Team Michi discounts. You get a chance to show off your car at the booth at display events. Might be doing that. I gotta find an event you're at. As always, we're here for you, Team Michi, blah, blah, blah. Sincerely, Ricky, Senior Public Relations Coordinator and Team Michi Model. Thank you so much for that, guys. Koozies, everybody loves a koozie. We have another Little penguin, I love penguins. And you're not gonna see it because it's white on white, but two Mishimoto decals, which will be going on the car. And that is it, guys. That is the overflow reservoir. We got the catch can. We got the 180 thermostat. Now, everything was packaged really well. I really appreciate it, Mishimoto. I can't wait to get all these on the car. Sadly, it's gonna be about a week, maybe two, before I can get it on the car. I've got a customer's car right in front of me, actually. And which that video will be posted up right after this one. You guys are gonna to wanna to stay tuned for that. Now, how did I get my first sponsorship or a sponsorship period? Now, this is the first time I've ever reached out to any company, period, to get a sponsorship. Now, it is not a full sponsorship, I did pay for these parts. 
and Mishimoto is not paying me for this video or for this review, I have a partial sponsorship with Mishimoto. And in doing so, I get a discount on parts. That's, that's what a sponsorship is, unless you're one of the big players building something for SEMA. You're not gonna get free parts. So all I did was reach out to Mishimoto. I contacted them and filled out an application for a sponsorship, gave them links to my YouTube page, my Instagram, my Facebook, my following, sent them uh, good quality pictures of the car and details and item numbers for what I was wanting. That's it guys. You wait for a response, you get a yes, you get a no. That's it. If not, I was gonna order the parts anyway. So I figured why not reach out and try to get a sponsorship from them. Luckily, they enjoyed my car, they, over, they overlooked my social media, and I was, you know, proud enough to actually get a sponsorship. And that's the first one I've ever had. So now I will probably reach out to a couple more companies and see if I can just get maybe some discounted parts on the car while I'm documenting this entire build. Um, all of these are musts for the car, 100%. I'm trying to get a lot of the really important things done to the car. The catch can, absolute must. The overflow reservoir, it's more of an appearance thing for me because that yellow one is just ugly in the engine bay. And mine was partially leaking here and there, could not find the leak, whatever. So, upgrade. And the thermostat. While I'm already messing with the coolant system, draining and reflushing it, might as well put that in because the cars run hot. Let's cool the car down. Let's see if we can get some more reliable power. So, that is it from uh, my first sponsorship ever, my first unboxing video. I uh, hope this isn't too long. I hope you guys stayed and watched everything. If the sponsorship info, man, just message me. If, if, if that didn't make sense, you know, just DM me on Instagram and I can walk you through exactly what I did for a sponsorship. And really, man, it's just ask. You're gonna get a yes or no. If you've ever done sales, ask. Yes or no, that's it. There's no point in being scared. So, hope this guy, I, I hope y'all enjoyed this. I will get this installed as soon as possible. Do a video for each installation. Then give a review of how I felt about those. Uh, if you like this video, thumbs up. Hit that bell for notifications. If you're not a, if you're not subscribed already, subscribe. We got more stuff coming for the 300. We got a customer's car right here in front of me. You guys are gonna wanna watch that because it's another SRT8 300. But I'm not gonna show you. It's right here too. It's killing me not to turn the camera around. But hit that bell for notifications because you're gonna wanna watch that. And I will see you guys in the next video. I really, really, really appreciate you all. The channel is doing amazing. Subscribers is up, views is up. You guys are really enjoying the content and I'm enjoying providing the content. So I'll see you guys in the next video. Thank you.